Jump shot for Taylor. No good. Rebounded by Lawyer. And that's it. Purdue in pursuit of a championship. They will play for the national title. The Boilermakers advance. 63 to 50 as they knock off NC State, the Wolfpack, with a tremendous run. But nine lives was all NC State had during this winning streak. They couldn't get the 10th. Purdue wins it, wire to wire. And Matt Pater and the Boilermakers advance to the national championship game. Purdue, Monday night in Phoenix, will play the winner of UConn, Alabama, still to come here on TBS. The Boilermakers have suffered losses to double-digit seeds over and over again. Not the case tonight. They take care of business against NC State. Tracy Wolfson standing by. Well, Coach, you walked over here. You said, wow. It wasn't the prettiest of basketball no. games, but how much did you like the effort defensively in that yeah. second half? Yeah, we were much better defensively in the second half. We were going to stay one-on-one -on -one with Zach and Big Fella right there and just try to take away the threes and uh, just let him stay one on one and then really just try to get into their guards and make things difficult and not let them get rhythm threes. Speaking of the big fella, what did you appreciate about his performance tonight? You know, just his ability to pass, to be able to dribble and score the ball, but also dribble and pass and just be unselfish. Anytime your best player is unselfish, you know, everybody just gets in line. This redemption tour continues. How does it feel knowing you'll play on Monday night for a chance at a championship? Oh, it feels great. You know, and that's what he always talked about. You know, he didn't come back to win a couple games in the tournament. He came back to compete for a national championship. But you got to put yourself in position first. And obviously, we're here now, and we'll wait to see who wins this next game. Appreciate it. And let me bring Zach in. Congratulations. Tremendous performance. All the talk going in was about you and DJ Burns. How much was this one about you just being more physical and getting your spots and the opportunities to have an advantage? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a great player. He made some, he made some tough shots. Uh, you know, he's had a, he, they had one, they had a heck of a run here. Uh, he was a big part of it. Uh, we knew we had to really lock in on him, focus on him, game plan, and do some stuff to kind of make him uncomfortable. And uh, I think we did a good job sticking, sticking that game plan today. I noticed you guys giggling a little out there. What was the conversation going on? I'll, I'll just keep that between us, but he, he's a good guy. And now the opportunity, and Coach talked about it, returning to win a championship, certainly with everything that had gone on last year. How much is this one you're looking forward to to try and bring home a national championship to Purdue? Yeah, it's the one we've been talking about for all year. It's the one I've been talking about for four years now. Um, to be able to play, play in that and accept that challenge next game. You, you know, whoever comes out of this next game is going to be a great team, but we're going to lock in on game plan and execute. Well, good luck. We'll see you Monday. Thank you. Tracy, we just ordered you a ladder. <laughs> Stay tuned. Capital One Tournament Central is coming up next, followed by Alabama and UConn. We're going to send you back to EJ and the guys after these messages. Purdue. Right now, the Boilermakers are a freight train. Try to stop them. They're moving on to the national championship in Phoenix.